Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Uh, it's that time of year where you know we're all running around servicing all of our uh, summer equipment and stuff, getting it winterized, getting it ready to go. But there's one big piece of equipment that we, uh, most people neglect. That's your vehicle. Um, definitely need to, to uh, winterize your vehicle, get it ready for winter. And uh, today we're gonna hit on a few key points and show you all what uh, you should be doing. All right, y'all, we're under the hood here. Uh, first major thing we should be checking, check the battery. Uh, go to any part auto parts store, 90% of them can check the battery for you. Um, winter is really hard to cool temperature, really hard on the batteries. Um, have them test it, see what it, what it uh, comes out as. I can tell you if it's a good battery, if it's not, if it has the cranking amps and everything, uh, they will fail on you at the best, at the least opportune time, you know, probably, you know, bare ass cold out and, uh, you're in a parking lot somewhere and your vehicle won't start. So you got to get a jump pack or find some jumper cables or call trip away or, you know, call your friend and have them bring you a battery or jump start you or whatever. So yeah, have them test that. Also, while they're testing, have them test the alternator too. Make sure it's putting out good. So that's the first thing. Next thing, check your antifreeze. You know, uh, you can get real cheap little testers. You know, you open it up, suck some of the fluid out. Um, you know, we'll actually show you how to do that. Give me a second. All right. Here's the thing I was talking about, y'all. Um, it'll test the uh, the boiling point. It'll tell you what the, you know, how, how cold it, uh, I'm sorry, it'll test the boiling point, yes. That's on this side. It'll tell you how good it is for the summer. And on this side, it'll tell you how how good it is for the freezing, how, how cold it has to be for your antifreeze to freeze. So, I'll show you how to use it. Just, you know, my, my truck hap happens to have the radiator cap on the radiator. Some of your new ones... There may be a reservoir off to the side over here that has the uh, radiator, you know, fluid right in it. And all you do, you stick it down in, squeeze the air out of the little ball there on top, and fill it up. And then that little, keep that little area right there on the top, straight up and down. And then, looks like mine's good for... Uh, negative 20, yeah, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'd like to have a little bit more. So I'm actually going to take some of this uh, antifreeze out of mine and top it off with some, you know, because uh, over the summer, uh, the truck had a little overheating issue. Uh, the radiator cap went bad, blew some fluid out. I had to top it off with water because I was out in the middle of nowhere. So I need to uh, bring that down i guess you call it so there's that one more thing on the antifreeze thing uh you can't just look at the color to to know the concentration and everything a lot of people say you know oh yeah you know it's it's a good color it's good to go no it does break down over time um even if you haven't had a leak or had to add anything to it um especially if you haven't had to add anything to it um the, the chemicals in it do break down they do evaporate um, and it will lose its you know potency so um, make sure you do check them uh, you don't want a frozen block uh, pushing out freeze plugs or even worse cracking the block uh, especially on your equipment and stuff like that you know make sure you uh, make sure you check that stuff out so uh, yeah, all right next thing washer fluid make sure you take out the you know use up all what's in there from the summer and well this is a coolant reservoir this is my washer fluid make sure you get some winter washer fluid stuff that won't freeze because the salt and everything blown up on your windshield it's a safety hazard you need to have your windshield clear so uh, moving around the next thing you need to do is uh, tire pressures uh, when it gets cold out the tell your tire pressure will actually drop so you might you know if you have the, even if you have the monitor it might be right on the borderline we want good tires you know 
check the tread, check the air pressure, and make sure that uh, they're up because you don't want to be stuck alongside the road and uh, you know not have a you know or have a flat tire and have to change it out in the freezing cold weather. So, all right, um, we'll, uh, we'll do a do a walk around, check all your lights, make sure your exterior lights are working, make sure your interior lights are working. You know. Uh, Chain time changes, gets darker earlier, gets lighter earlier, later. So, you know, make sure all your lights and everything are working good. All right, so we got the vehicle checked over. There's one other thing you need to do. Um, me, personally, I like to throw a blanket in my truck. Um, some old blanket, you know, something that if you would happen to break down, uh, go slide off the road into a ditch, uh, and you can't run the vehicle, you know, if you run out of gas, um, you know, you got something to kind of help keep you warm. And if you would have to walk, you can wrap it around you, stay warm. So throw a blanket or two in your, uh, in your vehicle with you. Um, I just got some old fleece throws, uh, picked them up, uh, dirt cheap at, at, uh, Wally World or one of them places, throw them in the back seat. Um, they're good for the summer too, if you go camping or whatever, or picnic, you've got a blanket for that, but, you know, I keep them in there all year round. And, uh, you know, uh, gloves. Make sure you throw, throw a pair of warm gloves in your vehicle too. Like I said, again, you may have to get out and do something. You need them gloves. Don't want to get the you know, your fingers frostbite or anything like that or cold or, you know, uh, and if you have to walk, you got your gloves. Keep you warm. Um, I throw a stocking hat in my truck too with my gloves. But, you know, I always have my ball cap on, but sometimes you need a, need a stocking cap. So, you know, just just be be prepared. You know, uh, not saying something is going to happen, but if it's better to be prepared and not have it happen, than have it happen and not be prepared. So, uh, I guess that's it. Um, oh, check your antifreeze in your in your equipment too. Sometimes you you, know, you got liquid cooled equipment. You don't think about it. You're going to perk it for the winter. You know, make sure it's uh, it's suitable and ready to go too. So. That's it. All right, y'all. It's just been a reminder from the bear that, uh, you know, it's time to, you know, winterize all of our equipment, including our vehicles. Um, you know, make sure you winterize your push mowers and riding mowers and small engine equipment and, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know. Treat the fuel tanks with the fuel for it don't go bad. Make sure the oil's topped off and everything, um, you know. So just, uh, you know. Be safe. You know that way you're not scrambling in the spring trying to trying to uh, get your, get your stuff going. So appreciate y'all. Thanks. Um, hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Uh, base, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all, and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one.